Test you, test you. Like the Lone Ranger, not a stranger. I ain't scared of danger. My say it was born in a manger. Nappy head dropper, that's me. Uncle Nappy, deliver the mail so you won't go to hell. Nappy head dropper, oh yeah, nappy head dropper. You can't tell me to stop. today for he is holy hallelujah we thank the lord right now jesus lord i glorify you that i decrease that you would increase lord that this word that you are sending forth lord would bless somebody would bless somebody's home lord. would move upon somebody by your spirit lord not my will but your will not my way but your way oh thank you holy one of israel thank you jesus hallelujah that you laid your life down that no man could take it, Lord, but you laid it down for us, Lord, that we could glorify the kingdom of God and establish the covenant of the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, amen. We've been dealing, praise God, with this series. Praise God. This is a message from your emergency Christian broadcasting network. Praise God. This is not a test. This is the real deal. I have found the weapons of mass destruction. Come on now. Hallelujah. That's destroying, praise God, not only the world, but it's corrupting the church. Praise God. Oh my God, it's a mess going on. Somebody need to get Jesus 911. Hallelujah, because everything is headed to hell. Praise God. Oh my God, things are spiraling to hell. Praise God. And if you don't separate yourself and come out from amongst them, you're going down the tube too. Come on now. As I said before, praise God. If you see everybody drinking Kool-Aid, falling on the ground, foaming at the mouth, don't you dare drink that Kool-Aid. Praise God. You cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of the devil. You can't dance with Jesus and dance with Satan too. Come on now. Oh my God, but I found the weapons of mass destruction. Come on now. Destroying, praise God. Hallelujah. See, weapons of mass destruction take out many, praise God. See that Kool-Aid that they had over there in Guyana, praise God, that Jim Jones had, that was a weapon of mass destruction. Kool-Aid Place with Sinai. Oh my God, because a mass amount of people, nearly a thousand people, died. Praise God. You don't hear anybody talking about it. You would probably have to research that if you if you if you're young and listening, praise God. But those of us, praise God. 40 years and older. Hey, man, you know about it, praise God. You've heard about it. Come on now. Oh, my God. Weapons of mass destruction that the enemy uses to destroy a mass amount of people, praise God. Hallelujah. The first weapon we dealt with was jealousy, praise God. If you didn't get that disc, you need to call, praise God. 702. Uh, 759-5103 that's area code 702 759-5103 and we'll get it to you the second weapon was rebellion that was disc number two praise God this is a series about the weapons of mass destruction God gave me a revelation praise God and he showed me the weapons of mass destruction that is destroying the world and the church praise God and if the church don't repent right now people you better repent on your own if you're dependent on Pastor Joe Blow to bring you into repentance oh my God you know what you may bust hell open, wide open with your eyes wide open. Come on now. You've got to find God for yourself. You've got to get in the word for yourself. You've got to trust the Lord. Because see, the Lord has the answer for the weapons of mass destruction. Come on now. We ain't got to send soldiers over there to die and get killed and arms cut off, amputations. Come on now. If we just line up with the word of God, if we just join the army of the Lord, praise God, we can combat the weapons of mass destruction. Because see, my Bible says no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Come on now. Hallelujah. Let's go, praise God, to the definition of lust. It's a strong, wicked desire. We're dealing with lust. This is weapon number three, lust. Hallelujah. Lust, hallelujah. A strong, wicked desire, praise God. Let's go to Exodus 15 and 9. The word of God says, the enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil, my lust shall be satisfied upon them. Come on now. I will draw 
My sword, my hand shall destroy. This is the noise that the enemy is talking to you. This is what the devil is talking about, what he's going to do. Hallelujah to the chosen vessels of God. I, I'm not talking about those that are called. See, people call, but they ain't answering the call. Praise God. Yes, the Lord is calling, but y'all won't pick up the phone. Huh? Oh, y'all giving God a busy signal. I, I'm too t I'm too. T uh, too busy, too tired to answer the phone. Come on now. Oh, but when God is ringing your phone, huh? hallelujah, he's choosing you, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, because he knows the war is coming. He knows the spiritual famine is in the land. Huh? Hallelujah. See, part of the reason that famine is spiritually, spiritual famine is in the land is because of the lust, come on, that's operating in the church from the pulpit all the way back to the usher, to the greeter at the door. Huh? Oh, my God, hallelujah. He said now. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. That means his strong, wicked desire, he said he's going to be satisfied. But see, one thing I found out about lust, huh? lust is never satisfied. Huh? Oh, come on now, because see, even in the world, when they conquer one country, they're not through there. They got to go get something else. Huh? They got to go get something else. Huh? Even though you done stole all the oil, you done stole all the diamonds, huh? you done stole the gold, huh? you done took the drugs, you done took the heroin, huh? you done stole the cocaine, you're still not satisfied. Huh? I've got to bring this destruction upon somebody else. Oh my God. Hallelujah. And see, lust, a strong, wicked desire, will cause you to want to not only take from them, but destroy them, praise God. Oh my God, but I know somebody that can destroy the destroyer. Come on now, we're not going there yet. Hallelujah. But lust, a strong desire, this is the third weapon of mass destruction that God has revealed unto me, to reveal unto others, praise God. These are things that you can conquer, praise God. You can overcome lust by the Spirit of the Lord, if you get real, praise God, and get down with God, get on your knees. I don't care if you got on a $500 botany suit and your Stacey Adams may have a crease in it. Oh, my God, your makeup may start running. But I'd rather, hallelujah, get ugly down and dirty with God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, than trying to look cute and pretty and try to be the hustle of the year, the pimp of the year. Come on now. And know that you're just getting pimped. See, the pimp is pimping the pimp. See, because the devil is pimping the lust of your flesh. Come on now. We're going to get into that, praise God. Psalms 81, 7 and through 15. Hallelujah. I would rather suffer. Come on now, before I get into Psalms. I just hear the Lord saying, it would be better that you suffer for righteous sake. Suffer as a true child of God than enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. In essence, it would be better that you live holy, praise God, than to fall into the lust, because the lust is only going to last for a season. That strong, wicked desire is going to only last for a season before you either hit the grave, the jail, or hell, praise God. Oh, my God, hallelujah. Psalms 81, 7 through 15, the word of God says, Thou callest me in trouble, oh boy, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place of them of, in the secret place of thunder. I proved thee at the waters of Meribah, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel. Now he's talking about his own children. If thou wilt hearken unto me, there shall no strange God be in thee. Neither shall worship any strange angel. Any strange God, I'm sorry. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. I, so I gave them up unto their own hearts' lust, own hearts' lust, and they walked in their own counsels. All that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon be subdued their enemies, soon have subdued their enemies, and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God, talking about your own lust. Hallelujah. Oh my God, your own lust. Mm -mm. He said, the haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. Oh, my God. Why didn't you hearken unto him? So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust. Come on now. 
Oh, my God, you don't want God to give you up to anything. Your own mind, your own heart's lust. Oh, my God, He see, there's lust in the heart. The Bible says the heart can deceive you. There are wicked things that come out of the heart, but people say they go by their heart. You better be led by your spirit. The reason why you got the wrong husband, the reason why you got the wrong wife, is because he gave you up to your own heart's lust, because you wouldn't hearken unto his voice on who he chose for you. Come on now. See, hallelujah. I'm going to tell you with young men, praise God. Sometimes they, they get caught up in the lust of their flesh. They don't want the one that mama want them to have. And daughters don't want the one that daddy want them to have. And then so what happens is daddy and mama back up. God backs up and turns you over to the heart of your own lust. Oh, and then when he's stomping you, come on now, beating you down, talking about you, treating you like a little dirty whore. Remember, you was turned over to the heart of your own lust. Oh, see, sometimes you like it freaky, praise God. You want it this way. You want just a little bit of sin. Oh, my God, just a little bit of jealousy. But what you don't realize is that begins to grow and it grows in lust. Come on now and see what I found out about lust. If you can't trust lust, you might as well flush. Hallelujah. Get rid of it. Praise God. You don't need it in your life. You don't need lust in your life. See, we always try to tie lust up with sex, but it says that a strong, wicked desire. Some people lust out for money. Some people lust out the honey. Some people lust out the food. Some people lust out the drug. Oh, lust carries a, covers a, a broad perspective. Praise God. Hallelujah. But see, you can be turned over. See, you don't want God to turn you over to your own heart or to your own mind. Because let me tell you something. If he turn you over to that, you don't know how to stand in God. You don't know what's real and what's not. Let me tell you what lust will do. Oh, my God, you want that strong, wicked desire. And you're just getting wicked and wicked. Next thing you know, you dancing on the table for a few dollars and don't know why. You can't trust lust. Just flush. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're talking about the weapons of mass destruction. Weapon number three is lust. Let's go to Matthew 5 and 28. Matthew 5 and 28. The word of God says, and this is in red, so Jesus is talking. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Now I've heard ministers say that, oh, when you see a pretty woman, you need to look up in the sky. Well, when you saw her, you already saw her. Well, looking up in the ceiling ain't going to do you no good. Come on now. Some ministers lock themselves up in houses and everything. They can't, they're insecure, praise God, because they got lust in their flesh. Oh, if you can't preach to a prostitute, if you can't preach to a woman that half dressed, come on now, who are you preaching to? The anointed one cannot be distracted. Oh, my God, even though they brought the prostitute to Jesus, didn't once Jesus say, girl, well, wait a minute, you sure look fine. Oh, my God, but what is going on with the ministers nowadays? Not only, oh, are you falling for it? Oh, my God, but you are part of it, praise God. You the instigator, date raping. Come on now. Oh, hitting sister so-and-so. You know you're hitting illegal boots, and God going to soon arrest you and sentence you, praise God. Oh, my God, you better get the lust out of your own flesh. Stop trying to tell women how they need to dress. Some women are coming just as they are. They just came off the streets. Oh, my God, and if they were in a high-rise hotel making $500, Spur John. They coming like they are. And they didn't come in there to get a hold of Reverend John. Oh my God, they came to get a hold to the one that was John the Baptist's cousin. They came to get a hold to the one that first John was talking about. They came to get a hold to the one that second John was talking about. They came to get a hold to the one that third John was talking about. They coming in the church. They coming to get delivered and set free. Not for you to be wanting to get a hold to the boots. Oh my God, hallelujah. Get the lust out of your own flesh preacher hallelujah oh my god let's go to first corinthians if you will hallelujah we're talking about the weapons of warfare i mean the, i'm sorry i said that again we're talking about the weapons of mass destruction we're talking about the third weapon which is lust hallelujah let's go to first corinthians 10 come on get a chance to turn first corinthians the 10th chapter hallelujah and the first verse. Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant, meaning you don't know, how that all your fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Now let's. Hey, 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 hey,
Yeah.